Hey there, my name is Jean Bridge, and this is a video complaint about Virgin Mobile and Sprint. Sprint owns Virgin Mobile, that's why I'm including them in this. Here is my iPhone, cute uh, Iron Fist cover. Um, this is an iPhone 5S, I bought this in April of last year, that's actually important. This is my 6S that I bought, whoops, that I bought in um, March of this year. Now there's 11 months difference. Why is that important? Because this phone, the 4S, cannot be unlocked. I was in Europe, I needed it to be unlocked so I could use a local SIM card for Europe and had a lot of emails back and forth with Virgin Mobile support. I finally said they could only do it by phone. I was like, hello, I'm in Europe, I can't call you because you don't have European plans over here. So I did call when I get back to get my phone unlocked, and what they tell me at that time is because I've only had this phone active for 11 months and not 12, they cannot unlock it for me. All because I bought this phone in April. No, I bought this phone in March. All because I bought this phone in March, they can't unlock it for me. That's insane, because I was a good customer and bought the phone bought two phones from them in the space of a year, they can't unlock my old phone. Apparently this arcane policy is from Sprint, not from Virgin Mobile, but Virgin Mobile's the one I dealt with and they're the ones that are equally to blame as far as I'm concerned. This that I wanted to use for my European travels, it's a $300 paperweight now. This is really outrageous. You should not be punishing people for being good customers and buying phones from you. Seriously. Peace out.